Hello, greeting guys. This is Aman Soni, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to save your GNS3 projects. Yes, it's been a headache to saving your projects in GNS3. It is not as simple as your Cisco Packet Tracer. And an upcoming thought about my new video that me or my friend trainer Miss Yumi is going to post very soon. The video is going to be about how to put a live wallpaper in your Windows 7 laptop or PC. Now guys, my question is, I was thinking few days back that okay, why do you going to put a static wallpaper? Okay, it seems nice, you can some put HD wallpapers like these because there is a saying, a picture says a thousand words, but why not, why put a heartbeat wallpaper if you can have a moving heartbeat wallpaper? Now, yes, I know it feels amazing and it is not that hard, quite simple, but I am collecting some cool videos that you guys can put as wallpaper. So wait a little, very soon I am going to put the videos. So why put an Iron Man HD wallpaper when you can put a wallpaper like this? Okay, so it's very amazing. Yes, it consumes little bit of RAM, but the cool thing about this is this is a video this is a video as a wallpaper and if you want you can pause the video right pause dream scene just pause and here it is now it is not moving at all and if you want it to play you are boring you want to uh, see some cool 3d graphics just click and play it and it starts playing and if you are not a geek or not an iron man fan if you are a, let's say nature guy you like natural things so just right click that as desktop background and here a very very amazing wallpaper natural beauty in your screen and that's yes guys this is much better than the last one because I think some of you geek guys might have already guessed this is a full HD video wallpaper okay so let's pause it and let's move to the real thing real topic of the day I thought you remember it guys it is how to save GNS3 project so let's hop onto the virtual machine, let's maximize it and let's hop on to save our GNS3 projects. Okay, now guys, right click and open. You should think, okay, why he's telling us this? Because I want you to first check this. I have already told you this in my GNS3 tutorials. So if you guys haven't watched how to set up GNS3 from scratch, here is the link. Okay, just click on this link and watch the video first and then come here okay because first in order to say save the project in GNS3 you have to have a GNS3 right so before clicking on open make sure right click properties compatibility that this thing is checked because if this thing is not checked then you might have few problems in your GNS3 so if it is checked we are ready to move on right click open and our GNS3 is starting up yes now uh, in my last videos few of my students asked that sir you have a very like high-end PC laptop and you have in your main machine you have 16 gig of RAM so like you can do GNS3 and all so can we also do the same thing so the question was okay the answer is this guys I am NOT going to make any tutorial in my main machine there is a reason I make all the video tutorials in the virtual machine why let me show you because this is a normal machine okay this it uses only one core of my i7 and the RAM is only 3 gig and even if I reduce it to 2 gig or 1.5 gig you can do all the GNS stuff if you have 1 gig RAM yes you have to be little bit careful 2 gig, 3 gig are good to go. Okay, let's start now, guys. This is the dialog box that you get when your GNS3 starts. So, usually you just cancel it and move on. You don't want to do that if you want to save your project because it is prompting you. The GNS3 is telling you how to make a project, how to start a project. So, just name your project that okay, it is my first project. That's the name save it so it is just like creating a blank project now in this project you can do whatever you like drag the routers r1 r2 and 
uh, let's only use two routers for this tutorial okay use the connector thing what do you want to do you want a fast ethernet connection or do you want a van connection we want a fast ethernet one so let's use this press it again the connector is gone click here now guys if you want to say magnify the image you can use this or you can use this okay because as I teach on projector I use this all the time but if you have a very very big topology you might considering using this zoom out option now let's click here we can't see the interfaces tell me how you can see yep most of you have I think probably have guessed right just click here F00 we have F10 we have now right click start wait for it wait for five six seconds to start and then click on R2 and start now look here guys keep an eye keep a close eye on this one when you start the routers the CPU utilization will hike up see 95% or it might even go to 99% so do not panic let it boot up click on the consoles one by one right click console and minimize and the console for R2 and when the consoles are up you have everything in the right place and now the CPU utilization will be not much okay it won't be even like 10 or 20 percent if it is more than 70 percent or 80 percent then you need to worry then you can mail me or you can whatsapp me I will share the number soon or you can just post a comment below the video now we have the consoles for CLI now guys a uh, few of you might say okay this looks cool it is transparent it looks like a metric theme isn't it so because this is not the default CLI program of your GNS3 it is not pretty it is secure CRT so if you want to set up secure CRT if you haven't done it yet click on this link okay I have made another video few days back how to set up secure CRT with GNS3 from the beginning step by step click it watch this and then come here now let's go to R1 and I'm going to do a very very basic config just some host name changes some IP addresses and some loopback interfaces so let's just make it interesting this is our network that we want to use and this is the IP on this interface 12.1.1 and 12.1.1.2 here okay now we're going to create a loopback any loopback let's say loopback 619 yes guys I'm a Rame Studio fan IP address oh no uh, they're going to use uh, 6666 now this is a loopback right we can draw something also we can create a small box to make it look more beautiful this is a loopback click it here click it here okay now I think this much is enough let's go to the CLI go to R1 and put some IP addresses so not this one this is our IP address on this interface let's do a no shut here so that our interface can be up wait for the log messages now it is done let's change the host name and let's call this guy ninja why not okay now when you are done with all the configuration on R1 you will just put the right command okay not right command you will just type WRIT okay why because this command is used to save your running configuration into your startup configuration okay so you have to use this right command and there's another command which do the same job which is copy running config to startup config you can do whatever you like right seems easy because you also have a shortcut for the right command either you can do the right command or you can do let me just try this you can do the right command or you can do the wr command or you can do copy run start whatever you feel like it i know most of you guys going to use this one now let's go to r2 do the same thing put the ip addresses whatever config you want to do whether it be your routing protocol hsrp netting whatever you like ip address 1211 internet mask a no shutdown exiting out of the interface and creating a loopback which is 
1619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619619
free video player okay how to modify settings of the uh, the video player and in that video player you can very easily uh, change the speed of my video you can make it slow okay then my rate of speed will be slower or if it is slow for you you can also make it faster now let's minimize that uh, let's exit out this virtual machine and we are done and now we can play this cute beautiful buddy out there now it was a pleasure for me i hope this video was helpful to you guys and please 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 don't forget to like and subscribe it helps me a lot okay that's way sharing is caring and keep sharing with your technical geeky friends and live your life enjoy your life see you soon in my next video love you all as always i'm on sony signing out